Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn how we can interface the LEDs on the GPIOs of the 8051 microcontroller. So as we are doing the simulation, so we have to use the AdSim 51 software to run our simulation and we will use the assembly language in order to program our AT51. So first we must know that there is one coding window which is just indicated by this cursor. This is your coding window. Then on under the cursor you can see, see that we have one array type structure which shows the LEDs connected with the GPIO. GPIOs that is uh, with the port number one here you can see that when we click on this p 1.7 and this button uh, push button plus sign we can see that 1.7 led 7 is connected with pin number 1.7 or port 1 and pin 7 led 6 is connected with the port 1.6 pin so and one more thing that uh, these LEDs are not connected uh, with the uh, the anode part with the GPIO. They have connected their cathode part. So when we will uh, set any bit on uh, the port, uh, you will see the LED will become off, and the rest of rest of the LEDs will become on. So this one is this. The first LED is uh, LED zero, LED one. Sorry. It is LED 0, LED 1, LED 2 and so on. So uh, let's start our assembly program. So first we will write ORG 0000H. Uh, in add same window, programming window, you can see that 00 is replaced with the sign phi, but you have to consider it the 0. So ORG 00H origin uh, is the initiator of our program or the starting line. Then obviously if there is star there must be an end. Okay. So in between ORG and N we will write our program. Then we will write uh, as we know that move is a command uh, that will throw data on the uh, ports. So we will write as we know that uh, port is port 1. And then we will write hash. Why, why we are doing all this? Because we want to put some data on port 1. So what this move command will do, it will directly take this data. Why? Why 0 FH? Because there is hash sign. Hash sign means that directly insertion or direct insertion of data on the port 1. So 0 FH is hexadecimal and it's binary is 0000 and 1111 so uh, 0000 and 1111 is thrown on the port number 1 so uh, can we see when we will run okay now we can see that as the leds are connected inward inverted so led uh, 0 is off 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 and off and it is on 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 and on so Okay, also if we want to, like uh, if we want to set any other bit, uh, if we want to set any bit, any bit means uh, any uh, pin, uh, high or low, we can write this set bit. So set bit P1.3. So what will be the output? We will run it. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. It is set bit P one point three. So is uh, they are like uh, because they already off. So if we used to set it, means that we are uh, uh, throwing like one. So on one, these LEDs will become off. So we can uh, choose uh, any other thing like. Uh, clear clr i think it is our command if i'm not forgetting it is clr clear p1.3 
so it will i think light up our, our led because it is it is clearing p1.3 so 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 you can see that so led number uh, 0 1 2 and 3 is uh, led 3 is on why because it is the inverted the leds are behaving inverted because they are connected inverted like here you can see that the leds cathodes are connected with the port 1 rather than anodes so when they uh, they got zero on the pin or this pin 1.7 or any other pin they become light up so so this is all about your setting and resetting of leds on the port 1 with the help of XM and assembly so hopefully you got the concept